throughout the just uh, forecasted this. And this is the lineup. Uh, my only problem with Valkyrie Lady Red is lane the lane, they're kind of weak. But we're in a big team fight. Go oh, Legends! The game number two here in this series, best of five. Like you guys just heard, if Blacklist International takes this lineup to another W, then they're, ma they're match point already against FCAP. So we'll see. I mean, I agree with what the guys are saying over on the panel, too. You know, they, they, FCAP. Oh, 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 and oh, it's gonna be a battle between Merchant oh. and Ogren, and they decided this engage. It's not gonna be worth it though. As Mew goes in. Okay, will he be able to catch Haji though? Now he's gonna pick up Kyo. <laughs> okay. Now it's a TKO. Two TKOs for our two mid laners. Merch just gives some information. He's got that. Ogren will keep him at bay. Locking him down, of course. Waiting for that level four too. Once, you know, the, the problem before that first turtle take was the fact that just FCAP didn't have the ultimates that they were looking for. They weren't level four, but they might look to fight for this. Speaking of fight, Clap Easy goes after three with a raging soundstorm, soundstorm counter attack coming in from Black. There's no manipulation coming in from Kyo as they bring down MP the King. Now Kyle Gizzi wants to go for more, going right after Lord JM as he flickers out and saves himself. One casualty only for Blacklist. Good shot there from Kyle Tz with the Queller. Able to get a kill. That's what he needed too. Again, this is part of the whole game plan when you have a Suyo on your lineup. You need to be able to kind of control the early game, right? He's one of those scaling up and very momentum-based assassins in the jungle. And he's got to do that. He's only got the Fury Hammer right now, so still working on his first item. There's the Hunter Strike. So he does lock that in. So this could help, of course, because he's going to be looking to set the pace, you know, against MP the King. And we see, we see Alpha picked up so much now in the current meta. Oakwind? Okay. Might be able to sustain this though. The three oh. members are trying to burst him down as Haji brings him up once again to beat him to Oha. But a counter attack from Falcons AP right up top. This time they're not gonna let Lord JM dominate like what he did during game one. Beyond, the power spike is gonna be there, and yeah. it's definitely a huge threat to the damage department. Yeah, especially in the laning stages of the game, early game. You could expect the Lunox to really be ahead uh, versus a Harith. So right now, Falcons AP Brand, they really need to manage the early game potential that Blacklist could give. Whoa, like what doing right now, Kyle Kizzy has to walk away as Ohev here, dangerously low. There's going to be a turtle clash, finally, because five members are here as Ohev will recall home. It's going to be an outnumbered match for Blacklist. Falcons AP Brand still holding on. Flap Kizzy goes in, plus Owen's AOG. They're really targeting Lord JM here, plus the real population coming in from view. Lord what JM manages to do a final slash counter attack for Blacklist Whoa. as they bring down Flap Kizzy. Next man is Owen, Lord JM, MP he will fall, wow. perks as well. Haji forced to back away as OM is now in the picture. A 4-4-2, four, four, Dragon's Dew goes in and brings down Haji. That fight was so good because there was an initiation from FCAP. Things Falcons AP Bread continue to do. They're not just thinking about the big picture. Even though they have huge ultimates, they're thinking about the things that they need to do before they go in for the clash. Like what Black is doing right now, Kyle Tizi goes in for Woo. second kill. And will be taken down by three members as Lord JM survives. I'm surprised he was able to get away, you know, with that. But uh, good response. There, there's got to be something for Blacklist International to do after you know they, that build is building up here for FCAP in the lead in terms of the lead. And so if they can find some of these wins across the map or whatever they can find, either even if it's just objectively some of the turrets, get some space to work around. Oh, gonna be in trouble. Oh, Oheb's in trouble. Okay, he has an order in brilliance, but Oheb trying to chase after him as Brakes force needs to hit Raging Sandstorm to save the Filipino sniper Kyle TC. Picking up a blade of hep to seize this time. So in terms of damage, you can expect Kyle Tizi to be more aggressive now. I don't so fighting into that box or possibly escaping it once it's set up and then re-engaging. That might be the best course of action here for Blacklist. So Lord is up. You can already see it. They're getting oh. set up here. Interesting there. Sky is going to be picked up by Haji on this Jushin. So they they set up for around the space around the Lord here. F cap. What's Blacklist going to do? What are they going to look for here? to deal with this. They do push him off a little bit. Kyle Tz trying to join this Oh, a catch for Lord Whoa. JM, serving it up to the Raging Sandstorm of Perks as they bring down Bio and Owen. Flap Tz forced to use the penalty zone to go in right after three. Order and Billion coming in from Ohev as they bring down Flap Tz oh, as well. But they're gonna counter attack with a kill onto MP the King. So there's no jungler for Blacklist. Falcons AP Brand lost three, but they have Kyle Tz. What's the play here for both of these teams? Well, the play right now, I mean, you're both, you're down one to two. Kyle Tz will go ahead and bring up the Lord though. MP is down for another 15, so there's no Lord gonna be taken. It's too too quick of a death timer, but 
You saw that little window of hope. Hold on, Kyle. Hey, 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 they go in right after Kyle. Whoa. Easy commits to the uh, final slash, but he's what? able to escape. The mobility of the Soyu is just unmatched as AOG casted by Ogwin to bring down Perks. And now the advantage is on to Falcon's AP friend. What an escape. Perks are by Lord JM, because if you're gonna go up against the, the lineup of Falcon's AP friend towards this Lord 5v5, regardless of what happens, you still have the Suyu that has a huge advantage when it comes to the Retribution second skill again when securing neutral objectives. Yeah, the Suyu is great, especially in this part of the game, but he does tend to fall off the longer this game goes, and it'll get definitely more difficult for Rathcap to go ahead and continue doing what they're doing around, you know, fighting this. But always the advantage is, is again, the real world manipulation around the Lord Pit. Anytime you come around, we're talking about these objective takes. That's one of the great things about the E pick. And my team still like to go for it. So you can see some of these more defensive items being locked in by Blacklist. Haji picking up that brute force. So now they work into this. They're going to look for a setup. And you can see the positioning here. Part of this again is Lord JM. If he can get that final slash they're looking for, they get an immediate kill. That'll be huge. There it is already. The Clock. seal being used. But Clock is thinking for Blacklist. Finds it out. There's a huge uh, slow push ensuing onto the bottom lane. Falcon taking a friend can extend this Lord Dance and force a reaction from Blacklist, or they can go ahead and try to burst it down. Okay, they're gonna make Blacklist react. Oh. Lord GM goes in for the final slash, connecting onto two of the raging sandstorm. A lot of uh, immortality is being popped here. Flap easy counter attack for the final. A penalty oh. zone. Lord GM, MVP King, Perks Goodbye. goes down. Goodbye. Haji is the only one left. A beautiful initiation by Blacklist, but there you said it. Falcons AP Brent, they have a lot of kit to re-engage. They have the economy lead. Haji with the Crimson Beacon out. Will he be able to defend this though? There are a lot of minions up against four members. Look at Super Marco Pup pushing with his Zaman Force. They're clearing out the minions. Haji has no more chance to defend this. And we will go to a game number three because it's one on.